You gotta realize that nothing in life is handed to you. If you want it, you gotta go out and get it. Always remember, grind, grind, grind no matter what. And always make sure that you never give up. It's automatic, baby. This is motivation at its finest. I like it doing when I'm rhyming. When things getting hard and it's getting tough, you could always use this as a pick me up. I was made to inspire the youth, yup, and you know that that is the truth. Made my own lane, and I got a lot of room. This is that music you bump in the locker room. You gotta kick it at six speed. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Just when you thought you got rid of us, we are back. Cody and Coach P, New Year 2021. Cody, we are going to, no holes barred this year, man. We're just going to, we're going to, not that we really, you know, held ourselves back last year, but I'm ready for a big year. How about you? I am stoked for it, man. And I'm stoked for a brand new series that we're going to unveil today and with our first show right now and i love that once again it is not scripted call me no, five it's minutes not. Ago, it's... Said, cody hop on the link let's rock and roll we're going live i said let's go for it man you, so you I'm guys will get a kick out of it we started to go over some stuff and then we just looked at each other and said stop we just kept <laughs> screwing everything up trying to go over shit so it was just like let's just we'll fly by the seat of my uh, of our pants and we'll just go as as this thing takes us but so Look, nobody knows better than Cody and myself how screwed up high school football recruiting is right now in the country. I mean, when you look at this thing as a whole, guys, the fifth year of eligibility is given to the seniors. They come in. uh, It it makes less scholarships, less roster space. So now the 2021 class is is being blue shirted. There's just so much going on. And what that's causing is a trickle down effect. Like I had said, where, you know, those division one caliber players starting to fall to the division two level and division two coaches are scooping them up. So the transfer got granted the one-time transfer. I think there's going to be a lot of shuffle in here late. That's what Cody and I talked about it. We think there might be some spots popping opening. So we decided to get together and do a uh, 2021 best available show. Um, We're going to have on, we're not sure how many series. We're looking at probably four or five shows where we're going to have on roughly four athletes, all great athletes, all, you know, either have offers or just getting into it, whatever the reason might be. Um, But these are guys that, when we send this show out to coaches, we want them to turn around, look at it and say, okay, what am I missing? Let me, let me double check. And, and a lot of these guys don't have to be superstars. Yep. The four guys we have on today happen to be superstars, but um, you know, everybody is, there's a home for everyone. And Cody and I are just trying to provide that level of exposure so that maybe one coach gets on which we're going to have a bunch on but one coach gets on sees one of our guests and says hey let me reach out to this kid he's really good i leave anything out cody nope i think you hit the nail in the coffin the way i've described kind of the ncaa recruiting landscape this year to a lot of coaches players and parents um in terms of how many spots d1 schools d2 schools d3 schools nia schools have and the transfer portal, which is just at a whole time high right now. Mm-hmm. It's like playing musical chairs with 25 people and there's only five spots. That's, that's the way it is, man. And, and you know, there's not, em- there's not enough seats at the table. Like Coach P said, we have always been about trying to give max exposure to these Arizona athletes. So if we can get, you know, at least one college coach to just say, hey, that player that Coach P and Cody talked about, mm-hmm. that seems like a guy. Let me go watch his tape. Let me see his transcripts. Then we've done our job. And that's all, that's all we're asking, man. Yeah. And you guys know, and and you guys know here at my recruits, I have my players that come on and get signed up that work with me. A couple of the guys that we have on today are are my guys. And even with my help, you know, we've got some good offers. A couple of these guys just signed up in the last week. So timing is really great, but we're also going to have on guys that aren't my recruits guys, just guys out in the Valley that, you know, I say, I turned to Cody. I said, Cody, find me that one guy, find me two guys that we could really help and try to make a difference. And, you know, we've got those guys on today. We're going to bring the first one on 
okay? Uh, if you were tuned in to the Senator Spotlight and the Cody and Coach P show in the beginning of the playoffs, you heard this young man's name mentioned a lot. We spoke about the Liberty Secondary. We, we beat it into the ground. Jack Stam, Shane Pitts. Jack Stam, Shane Pitts. So Shane Pitts is a safety at Liberty who is extremely athletic, extremely long, um, quick change of direction, explosive. I mean, am I leaving anything out, Cody? I mean, the kid's a dude. Run thumper. I mean, you look at his his stats and his tape. Uh, He doubled his tackle production this year, going from 4.9 tackles a game his junior year to eight. 8.3, 8.3, 8.3, 8 and a half in his senior season. And you just watched all the games. He was around the ball carrier on almost every single play. He's a really good football player. Yeah, he's got a nose for the ball. Let's see if we can get him in. Let's see. See how this thing works. As you guys know, not scripted. We do it live. We'll see. Oh, that's a good start. He's he's on dad's computer. Mm-mm-mm. Shane Pitts. Hey, how are you doing? Welcome to the Cody and Coach P show. Thank you for joining us. Congratulations on a great year. Thank you. Cody, take it away. Shane, what's going on, man? Happy Sunday. Happy holidays. Uh, how was your holiday season? Oh, it was good. Just stayed home with my family and hung out. Very nice. So, I mean, Shane, we're... You're the very first guest of this brand new series that That's right. and I are doing, man. And we're, we're spotlighting and, and highlighting a lot of under-recruited kids in the Valley. You being the first of them, man. I've gotten to watch you play two or three times in person now um, during your Liberty career and just blown away by kind of like we said it earlier before you got on. You have a nose for the football. I mean, you have a tact yeah. to find the ball carrier, bring them down, really fundamentally sound tackler. But in your own words, and, and your pitch to Omo and college staffs who might watch this, what? How would you describe yourself as a football player? Um, probably a hard hitter. Like not a, not a hard hitter, but like um, I'm a. Hey, you can college. you can say that, Shane. You yeah. can absolutely say you're a hard hitter because that's true. That ain't nobody gonna argue that one. <laughs> I'm like a, a versatile defensive player, like because I I'm a ball hawk. I I think. Like I can go up for the ball when the ball's in the air or make plays with tackling, like you said. And yeah. So versatile football defense player. How have you seen yourself? How, how did you see yourself this past season improve? Cause you look at your junior tape and, and your junior stats and you almost doubled the production in, in terms of tackling from about four, 4.9 tackles a game your junior year to about 8.3 your senior year. What, what steps did you take to improve and how did you see yourself improve your senior season? Um, well, more of like just always running to the ball. Like junior year, I didn't like, I ran to the ball almost every play, but like, I think I was more lazy junior year. And then senior year, I was like, dang, this is like my last high school football season. So like, I just, I would run the ball everywhere and it just like happened to let me make more plays. Cody, I, I want to say, say something. Cause one of the things that the, the, the world of recruiting, you have to pass um, various stages yep. to, to get, to that spot. I mean, this, there's so guys think you just get an offer and then you're off and running, which by the way, Shane, I want you to know, you do have the offer. I wanted to point out from you, Mary, which is a fantastic division to offer. Mm-hmm. Congratulations on that. I sent two young men there last year that absolutely love it. So we're not sure how things are going to play out, but uh, coach Martin, the offensive line coach had nothing but great things to say about you up there. So that was a, a fantastic offer. And I know, we're looking at getting some more here to as, as we start getting going in the new year. But one of the stages, Cody, that, and you know this better than anybody, that coaches love is, does he pass the eye test? That's what they always ask. When you look at a guy, you know, even when I do this, when I meet them for the first time, when you look at a guy, does he pass the eye test, right? I'll tell you what. When you have a chance to see Shane Pitts and he's got his shirt off. <laughs> you go on if you go check out his volleyball. He's play, I think he's playing beach volleyball. Is that the picture, Shane? No, I was playing spike ball. Spike ball, spike ball. Yeah. dude. He is 
ripped. I mean, he's a man. He is a total. You've got kids at this level. You've got guys at this level that they look like boys still. And then you've got guys at this level. When you look at them, they've, they're, they're, they physically graduated to being a man. And the pandemic is, is the, why is this doing that? Hold on. This is the non-scripted version of the show. Everybody still got me. One of the, uh, one of the things is we have to, um, the pandemic is coaches not being able to come here and really get a good look with the dead period at guys like Shane. They never had a chance to see him pass the eye test. Yeah, and that's and, a shame. Well, I know Shane too. I remember that it was either this past summer or this past spring, once the pandemic hit, you got you were still going all out lifting. And I remember talking to the Chandler staff uh, a week after you guys played him and said, "Hey, man, that Liberty team's gonna be pretty good because they were. They, we can tell how physical they are, and they I, we know that they were still getting after it in the weight room." And I remember you posted what you hit like three plates on bench, and then I think you squatted four plates. I think you ripped that out like four or five times. I, how much did that help you during your senior year to still lift throughout the pandemic and obviously get a lot stronger? Well, that helped a lot. Um, Liberty's always been known for like just always grinding in the weight room. Yep. To be honest, like, and that's what we do. And I kind of fell in love with the weight room like sophomore year. Mm-hmm. And I think it helped us a lot just to be like more like to be stronger than everyone on the field. And yeah. And not only that, like those numbers are tractable, especially for a position where you can, like you said, you talk about versatility you'd be a deep safety or you could step into the box and fill force. If you need to come in and, and play inside even more, you could fill an A and B gap. Cause I mean, you're posting these huge numbers, man. You're a strong kid. So Yeah, I definitely, <laughs> Cody, I think you bring up a great point. I think he's a guy that's quick enough to play the free mm-hmm. um, versatile enough to play the strong, but actually you might see this is a, a young man that, you know, depending on what level he goes to mm-hmm. versatile enough to play the outside backer, outside backer in a sure. four, three, I mean, it's there's so much they could do with him, which is why more coaches need to kind of wake up. And a dude in the classroom too, Shane. What is your grades? Uh, my GPA is a three three after last semester. Nice, yeah. Man. So I mean, he's getting it done in the classroom. He's ready to go. I mean, let's like we're not going to be shy here. So we're going to let these guys know, coaches at Shane Pitts. He's going to be tagged in it. Okay. At Shane Pitts one two right Shane yes sir at Shane Pitts twelve um, you can message me at Coach Perone you can message Cody at Cody T Cameron like any questions you have on this young man let's let's get to somebody okay um, we've got two guys coming on this show that are by far not only the best available safeties in the state of Arizona, but arguably the best safeties in the state of Arizona. So Shane, thank you for being our first guest on the new series. Um, Cody and I are here to help you any way we can. Um, We're getting some traction on this show. We're going to send this out to a lot of coaches. So hopefully something comes of this. Stay patient, keep working hard, and we wish nothing but the best for you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Have a good one, Shane. You know, Cody, I know you and I have have talked about, you know, that Liberty secondary, Liberty secondary, Liberty. I mean, the kid's just a dude. Yeah, he's a good player, man. He really is. So let's stop real quick um, for a commercial break. And we're going to come back with Hamilton running back Rodney Clemente. And I'll tell you. Like this one kind of just fell in my lap over the last couple of days. I mean, we actually just got him set up today. I'm looking forward to, to getting him out to some coaches, but I know you've seen this young man and well, wow. There's not many words besides wow. You can really use. So we're going to go pay the bills real quick and we'll be right back. Team impact proud sponsor of the my recruits podcast in the Valley since 2013. Team Impact runs personal training, camps, clinics, and nationally recognized competitive flag and seven-on-seven teams. To join the team, Coach Dave Bakchi and his staff ask for hard work, high character, and a commitment to being the best. Programs for athletes as young as five years old. To learn more about Team Impact, 
visit teamimpactcoaching.com. That's teamimpactcoaching.com. Team Impact, where champions start. We're back, Cody. Great interview, Shane Pitts. I know he's always been one of your favorites. Um, I tell you, I'm, I'm excited about this. I got a couple of guys reaching out to me. We're already picking players. I know you spoke to a few guys. Um, we've got two guys in the waiting room right now. I mentioned, I get a phone call from, actually, so uh, Mason Winkleman, who is the starting center at Chandler messages me and says, Hey coach. And I worked with Mason um, and great, great kid, great family. Um, going to be successful, going to be making a selection here soon. Coach, do you think you can take on one more running back? I, one of my buddies at Hamilton, um, you know, would like to get some help. And we've gone over this. Normally I don't get, you know, those guys, you know, Coach Zadevsky, um mostly has that stuff under control. But every once in a while, you know, even like, you know, I, I didn't expect to get Mason Winkleman. But every once in a while, you know, you get a good player that kind of just sneaks through. And hopefully you can provide some kind of support. Well, I sat down and, I, you know, Hamilton is not a team that I've watched a lot of like you have. I watched this kid's film and I almost hit the floor. I mean, literally yep. almost hit the floor. I mean, you want to talk about explosive yep. and a, a man playing with boys, this guy, like, wow. And I, I said, wow. I mean, what else can you say? I mean, go ahead. Try. Am I missing anything? I mean, he's, he's a man. Yeah. Speed, man. That's when you, when you put on Rodney Clemente's tape, the thing that jumps out the most, and especially if you're, if you're a running backs coach and OC, the thing you're looking forward to the most when you're looking at the running back position is speed and him running away from defenders. That's what he does, man. And that's another thing that's really sad about how long the dead period is extended for NCAA football. Because coaches who see this person, this player in person, they go, wow. You know, he is so explosive and so electrifying. And especially, especially in the open division playoffs that he just absolutely destroyed teams. So I'm looking forward to talking to him right now. Yeah. Let's, let's bring him on. And then I'll tell you one of the thoughts that I have. Let's see if we can get him in here. So far the, I don't want to hit remove Rodney Clemente admit. Welcome to the greatest show. On, that's what we should call it. The greatest show on earth. Ooh, greatest show. On we earth. might get sued for that, but I'm sure we will, but that's all right. <laughs> Rodney, you there, bud? Yeah, I'm here. There you are. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the den. Cody T. Cameron, Coach Perone, best available player series. Thank you for taking the time tonight to come on with us and, and really just try to talk a little football and try to get some, some action moving on you. It's a travesty that you are not sitting there with 10 or 15 offers right now. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. And now we're going to try our damnedest to fix it. But thank you for coming on and welcome to the show. Thank you. Cody. Rodney Clemente. I've watched you play for heck two, three years now, man. And, and we, when we break down film, I usually go pretty in depth. And when I break down and do film breakdowns and I do evals, but for you, I had one word. And that word was speed. Now, obviously, you're more, more of a football player than just that. But that, and that's one of the most important things that jumps out to me and, and college coaches when you watch tape or watching you in person, man. I remember watching you play against South Point Catholic this past year. I think the first four plays of the first drive, maybe maybe first three, it was pretty much outside zones. You take it to the seven, eight, nine hole, man, and you just gash it right up the gut, blazing past mm -hmm. South Point's secondary, man. And I look at a couple guys in the media and I go, that kid, that is speed. <laughs> and so I want you to tell me, how would you break down your, your style of play? Um, for me, I like to think I'm a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, it just really depends on the moment and just what happens when the time comes. Usually I try to trust my speed because I do know that I do have it. So uh, when I don't have that option available, then it's either try to lower my shoulder or make a move. And, and Coach Pete, 
in the new era of football where you see a lot of spread teams and, and even in multi-dimensional offensive offensive uh, breakdowns here you have to have about two or three running backs in your arsenal who are always ready to go and especially oh, yeah. have speed and that in my opinion is what makes Rodney so marketable is, is you have a guy who could step in and is going to match or excel the caliber of your backfield that you already have there um, yeah. and Rodney going to that speed what is some stuff that you did this offseason or, or in years past to to help yourself on the football field in terms of training, um, different workouts or track or et cetera? Uh, so during the off season, I try to lift uh, basically every day mm -hmm. just try to get arms and legs in. And I run track as well for my speed and agility mm -hmm. and just try to work on my legs as much as I can to just get mm -hmm. ready for the upcoming season. You know, you know one of the things I, I, I really want, I – when I talk to a running backs coach, and I have some very, very, very good friends that are very good running backs coaches at very prominent programs. Um, what they tell me, the first thing that they look for, Cody, and I'm watching Rodney's film as we're on the, uh, on the phone and it's just, as we're on the recording here. And it's just, you know, when you watch, when you watch the play at 42 seconds, Right. He's, he's in, he's in a single back set. He takes his own. He press, he presses the hole, but he doesn't dance. He does. He presses, he presses and just turns them on. Yep. And it's just like, before he gets to the second level, the first level is already diving at his feet as he's passing the second level, third levels closing in. And it's just, even on angles, they can't get this guy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Coach Stewart, who is a good friend of mine, who is the former running backs coach now at University of Arizona, um, AJ Stewart used to tell me, I never want to see a running back on film get caught from behind. Yep. And when you watch Rodney's film, not only is he never caught from behind, but he's not caught from the side. He's not caught from, I mean, there's, there's no catching this guy any which way but loose, man. I mean, they're, they're trying, but they ain't getting him. And that's what I saw late in the season this year with Rodney, um, and especially in the open playoffs. You play Corona, 14 carries, 179s, and three touchdowns. And then when I, I'm at the South Point game, I talked about the first series. But, heck, man, you only had seven carries in that football game. I know you're splitting time with Noah Schmidt. You guys were kind of beating the crap out of that team pretty early on. Seven carries, 132 yards, and two touchdowns. So my next question to you is, your, what are you – well, if you could talk to college coaches right now, what would be your what would you say to them to coaches who are on the fence about extending an offer to you? What do you bring to the table to their program? Uh, I like to think I could bring a lot. I mean, uh, coming up, they've always not really it's kind of like doubted me. I've always been mm -hmm. the uh, underdog coming up. So I would just like to say to them, if I haven't face to face, just give me a chance. Let me show you what I can do. Like I've been trying to do for the last four years of my career. I love it, man. Chip on the shoulder. And it probably drives your intensity level up and, and you strive to get better every single day because of that. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, Ronnie, I'm super excited to have you on board here with my recruits. I think we're going to get some really good action moving forward. Um, guys, you just have to go on. What's your Twitter, Rodney? Uh, RPCTWO. RPC. Say it again. RPCTWO2. Yep. RPC two T W O yep. RPC T W O guys. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time. You go online, you watch this young man play enough said because Rodney, I think you are the real deal. Um, Cody and I are going to help in any way we can. I know um, we've got, I've gotten hit in the last 12 hours since we put out that profile with a bunch of guys, you and I are going to talk midweek this week. Let's let the interest come in. But one of the things you said that stood out to me, it was wonderful. And you said, listen, I'm looking to get an education mm -hmm. and play football at the next level, but I'm also looking for the right team mm -hmm. because being a part of a team is very important to me. And I think um, some team is going to get very, very lucky with you. Um, I, I don't know at what level yet, but, um, you know, University of Arizona just announced that Scotty Graham is going to be the new running backs coach and Scotty and I go back way back. He's actually from Long Island, New York. 
most people don't know that, but um, as soon as I can get in touch with him, I'm going to, I, I would like these guys to take a look at you and really, you know, see what you can bring to the table. I mean, right now recruiting is so screwed up, but I, I think we could really drum some interest up on you pretty fast and we're going to do what we can. You just keep your head up, keep running towards the goal line, buddy, just like you did all year. Put your head down, run towards the goal line. Eventually, we're going to get there, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you for coming on, Cody and Coach P Show. Rodney, Clemente, best of luck. We will talk to you real soon, bud. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. No problem, boss. All right, Cody, two down and two to go. We are going to take one more quick commercial break and then come back with Red Mountain Safety, George Ramirez. Woo, man, what a lineup we got today, huh? I like this, man. I Guys, like stay this. tuned. We'll be right back. Education Solutions, helping both students and student athletes raise their GPA and test scores through the NCAA approved and accredited virtual school. Raising GPAs at a success rate of over 90% and test scores at a rate of 87%. Waste no more time. Increase your GPA and test scores by contacting Education Solutions today at 205-960-6444 or visit them online at YourEDSolutions.com. That's YourEDSolutions.com. Mention the My Recruit Show and receive a $100 discount. Okay, guys, no more commercial breaks, I promise. Uh, we had some, we were getting signaled from the producer and all that stuff, you know. Cody had magnets out of place on the refrigerator. We had to fix some shit. So all seriousness, awesome show. Two great players we just had on. Shane Pitts, Rodney Clemente. We got two more now, Cody, in the waiting room. So let's rock and roll. George Ramirez, Red Mountain Safety. Love this kid. Total stud. Um, I'm not going to disclose too much, but let's just bring him on. He's got some things working. Come on, George. Get in there, buddy. I clicked admit. You said you're ready. I'm ready. Cody's ready. I'm ready to rock. The audience is ready. Coach Perone in his new studio is ready. The multi-million dollar studio. It is. <laughs> Here comes JR. GR. <laughs> hey, like you said, unscripted. <laughs> unscripted. <laughs> there he is. I don't know what everybody's talking. Look how he's another one. These guys, they're not boys. They look at him. George, you look hey, like a dude. Doing? You even look like a dude. I mean, just, <laughs> just sitting in the living room, you look like if you hit somebody, you're going to hurt them. <laughs> uh, you know, sure. welcome, welcome to the show, Cody T. Cameron, Coach Perone. Um, where do we begin? Probably oh. with me shutting up. Cody, go ahead. Well, I mean, you look at George's resume, man, and I just don't know why he's a candidate to be on this show. And I know. Look at under recruited underclassmen because I've George is is one of those players, man. And George, I followed you for three years now. Where he's got three years of tape, he has a four and when I mean three years of tape, I mean three years of very, very, very good football. The first time I ever watched George play, he was a sophomore. And uh, they're playing Queen Creek High School in the playoffs. Probably remember this, George. Sophomore year. And he's playing deep safety. And he comes up and absolutely sticks Queen Creek's running back. And Queen Creek, I mean, those kids are well-developed when they're, heck, when they're like 13, 14 years old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. just the way they, they get after. And I remember talking to Coach Enders. Um, and I said, who in the hell is that guy? And he's like, oh, that's my sophomore defensive back, George Ramirez. And then the next year, your junior year, man, I mean, fill up the stat sheet. Um, your tape is amazing. And I think you had a million punt blocks in, in that season, too. Yeah. And uh, But here we are, man. So, But I'm going to let you do the talking. And, and you to, this, whole, this whole series that we, me and Coach Brown started is to highlight 
uh, under-recruited players. But I want you to make a spiel to college staffs right here. George Ramirez, the football player. What type of football player are you, and what can you bring to a college football program who's thinking about offering you? Honestly, um, what I can bring to a college football program is just I'm going to be a guy that's really reliable to all the coaches, going to show up to all the meetings, all the lifts, all the practices on time, uh, early. I'm going to be a leader on and off the field to those guys. Um, even though I'll come in as a little guy uh, to all the bigger guys, but I'll definitely learn and uh, – keep the same tradition, keep the same atmosphere that they have right now and keep it to however long I'm going to be there. You know, one of the problems we all, we always talk about is unfortunately these coaches and these programs, Cody recruit length, Yep. you know, um, six, three guys, six, they love seeing those six, three safeties, mm -hmm. you know, really long, really thin. They like to get them in, build the muscle on them. Here you have a player George, who's just under 5'11", about probably close to 190, I would say. Um, and he's he's already put together. Yeah. I mean, and when he hits you, you think you just got hit by a guy 6'5", 260. Um, George came to me um, probably about a month ago. We haven't had the, the pleasure of working together for very long, but um, I'm guiding the family the best way I know how. Um, and we do have a unbelievable scholarship situation at the division two level. That's going to pop here in the next, I think what George week or so, um, yeah, about a week or so um, that we're very thankful to have, but I, I shows it, it lends to the character of the young man mm -hmm. where we, he does have, I want everybody to know he does have some, some full pay out of pocket opportunities at the division one level. He has those opportunities right now, but he's a 4.0 student mm -hmm. three year. I mean, dude, a three, three time dude underclassman of the year last year. I mean, look, it's a guy that knows his worth. Mm -hmm. So I really commend him for saying, Hey, listen, this school is showing me the love whether it's through DM, telephone calls, respecting me, understanding that I'm under-recruited. And honestly, hey, look, this is business, dude. They're well, paying. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, they're willing to say, listen, you're a four, he, he's, he's a 4.03 GPA, top mm -hmm. 10 athlete in the state. Somebody's got to pay. Yeah. And when I, also, when you, just throw away stats. And even if we're not looking at film and GPA too, something that Georgie just said was, you know, is someone that you can rely on in any situation, whether that be like on the practice field, George, you practice the way you play. And I mean, that's just the red mountain cult culture that coach Peterson and, and especially coach Enders, your DC has put on. Uh, mm -hmm. But on top of that, you're extremely intelligent. You're a very, very smart football player. When you, when you watch the tape, the thing that blows me away is just your, your, how quick you react to situations and that how quick your T-step is when you're, when you're covering the flat from deep safety or when you force, you set the edge very well and you read your read keys. A lot of that comes from how well you are coached. And if I'm a college staff, I want very intelligent football players, especially at the safety position. So my question to you is how did Coach Enders, and I'm not trying to make this about Coach Enders, but this goes with you because it helped mold you in my eyes as the complete defensive player that you are, how did he help you throughout your high school journey? And how did you become a better football player because of him and the coaching that you received at Red Mountain? Um, it really started my freshman year. Um, I was on a uh, freshman played all throughout the season, got pulled up to playoffs because Enders knew that um, what, he, what he told me a couple months ago mm -hmm. is the reason why he pulled me up. And so he knew that I was going to be an impactful guy on the team. So he had to get me around as many varsity players and reps and the culture as it was early on, right? And so my freshman year got brought up. Um, I watched Justin Coleman play. Mm -hmm. I got taught by him, got taught by Ender, Julian Madison when he was there my freshman year. And they really taught me what like the speed difference from what it was from freshman to varsity. It's really game changing that way. And so Ender's really just brought me up that way. And um, he just gave me a shot, honestly. And that's all it really is because once he gave me that shot, I started to develop more uh, body mass because I was lifting with the varsity guys. 
Yep. Um, I started getting more intelligent with uh, the reads and the defense and a little bit more comfortable with the coverages and zones like that from an early age, too. I was about, what, 15 years old when I took yeah. my first varsity snap somewhere around there. And, you know, it just really helped me develop into the player I am today because I was such a young, uh, such a young player on the field. Another example, another example, Cody, of the pandemic crippling this young man. I mean, if coaches, I'll tell you right now, if, if Red Mountain was able to put on their showcase Mm -hmm. this year, like we did two years ago, George Ramirez and Evan Swoboda would be sitting on 20 offers. Mm -hmm. Because those are, I mean, there's no question about it. If you see this guy live, I remember when we were at that showcase two years ago, when everybody got excited. I mean, George has got probably 600 followers, but then the pandemic hit and then guys just yeah. sat back and, and, and kind of, you know, the one percenters survived. I don't know, George, I, I'm confident. I know you and I speak a lot. I, I think we could, we could get out of this disaster. I think we're going to get out of this disaster. So I don't know, Cody, it, it, it's, 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 you're right. You, you, you hit the nail on the head. This is a guy that shouldn't be on the show. None of these guys should be on the show, sure. Yeah, but, but thank the, God they the are show. because then we wouldn't have a show. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm stoked for you, Georgie. And I, I really, I really admire the way you played football the last three years, man. It was really fun to watch. And I don't like to be sit in the, you know, be a fan sort of say, but I played safety and, and I love the way you play, man. And you're a much better football player than I ever was. And so that's what makes it really much fun too. So thank it was you, a blast, man. And wherever you go your next journey, I'll be rooting for you. Oh, for sure. I really love like the support and everything that you guys have been doing for me lately. And in the past, like it's been really, um, really beneficial to me just keeping my head up and knowing that someone like someone is taking recognition for what I'm doing. So I really appreciate it from everyone. Yeah. You know, it's, you're, it brings up a great point, George, because sometimes, you know, you work so hard, you pour so much into it. It's mm-hmm. nice to be recognized. You know, yeah. it's not like, you know, I had a, a conversation with a player the other day. He goes, well, you know, it's crazy because I don't know how much you do for me because I don't see it. And I'm not the type of guy that's going to pick up the phone and call you and say, oh, by the way, I just did this for you. Oh, by the Mm -hmm. way, I just did this for you, you know, but it works both ways. And the gratitude that you and your family show towards me and us, um, you know, you might think it's just, you know, oh, thanks. But that's the stuff that keeps us going. Right, Cody? Absolutely. You know, but like you said, I mean, we're here for you guys, man. Anything we can do to help, we're here for it. So, and we got a cool show. (laughs) Absolutely. George Ramirez. Thank you so much for joining us guys. Twitter. uh, Twitter. What's his Twitter? Twitter. I I don't remember these. So George, George, give us a Twitter. um, George probably doesn't even remember it. (laughs) At G Ramirez uh, underscore nine. There it is. Also, guys, you can go on myrecruits.org in the 2021 Athlete Galleries. George Ramirez's is, is website is in there. It's a direct link to his Twitter. So you can always go to myrecruits.org, direct link into his Twitter. Hit me up at Coach Perone. But G Ramirez underscore nine. Um, geez. Special guy, man. Special guy, George. Thank you so much for coming on. You have, there's no way that they're going to stop you from being successful. No matter what, no matter where you go, you are going to be successful. And I can guarantee that. So thank you. And we wish you the best, bud. Thank you so much for having me on the show, guys. Really appreciate it. No problem, bro. Peace. All right. Have a great one. You too, buddy. All right, Cody. So George Ramirez, Shane Pitts, Rodney Clemente. Wow. How'd you like to put a team together from this show? I'll take them all, man, especially wow. especially our last guest, too, because this this last guest, um, whew, you ask everybody in the state, and they're going to say, this guy is a dude. So pretty I, this is one of your favorites. You've, you've mentioned it. him. You mentioned him a lot to me. I have uh, had the pleasure of seeing him play one game. Mm-hmm. Um, but why don't you go ahead and bring him on? I'm going to admit him right now. Probably one of the best offense linemen to ever put a helmet on at Boulder Creek High School. Jake Those are big before. words. Jacob, what's going on, man? How's it going? Good. So everybody here, we got Jacob Moore. 
Boulder Creek, multi-sport athlete, the 2019-2020 all-state heavyweight state champion wrestler of the year, beats Dante Smith, who is a phenomenal athlete. He Um, beat my boy? Beat your boy, Dante Smith, on the mat, and then 2019-2020 wrestling season. Um, and then a two-way starter for Boulder Creek. Wow. He's everywhere on the offensive line, plays a little defense. Thank Jacob God Park. Dante Smith is already committed because, <laughs> wow. Jacob, welcome to the Cody Cameron Coach B. First ever, first ever under-recruited show. Thanks for joining in, man. No problem. All right, Jacob. So I got about 15,000 questions to ask you, but <laughs> I, my girlfriend wants me to go to dinner in 20 minutes. So well, I'm I got to go too. So uh, let's, I'm going to hit the nail and coming. Your recruitment, man, I, for me, I, I understand college coaches are going to think you're, you're small, you know, and, and yeah. I good thing people can see me here because I got the quotes as small. You're, you're not a small guy, um, but you have some opportunities. I know you have a great offer from Washburn. Um, they offered you this past April. I know a couple other schools, I think Southwest Minnesota State offered you last spring um, and a couple other schools. But for the life of me, I can't understand why an FCS school uh, especially a big sky school when it take an opportunity for what well, I know why it's because they have no spots. There's no spots. Yeah. anywhere. I mean, it's, 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 it's not him. Yeah. It's not you. It's there's no spots, but when you have, when you look at your tape and Jacob, you have three years of tape. Now you are nasty, man. And the tape is quick. Uh, it's edited to perfection. It shows your versatility as in, heck, you can backside pool. You can play side pool. You can get to the second level. You bury dudes on their butt consistently 10 to 15 yards downfield it is a clinic sometimes but i want you to take over and tell me how you best describe uh the nastiness on the football field and your your overall football game how would you describe that to college coaches um you know i mean the biggest thing for me is just i want to dominate every single play um i take my one-on-one battle very seriously and uh i want to do whatever i can to help the team you know so jacob how big are you I'm uh, 6'3", 280. You know, that's he, – he reminds me a lot. I watched his junior film, Cody. Yep. He, he reminds me a lot of Mason Osborne um, mm-hmm. yep. as far as that that nastiness. You know, Mason, you know, just committed to, to Northern State. You know, I, I think Jacob will, will be a, a fantastic offensive lineman. And that's the thing, just to add to – not not to argue with Cody because – we do argue. We argue all the time. It's all you good. know, honestly, <laughs> Jacob, this is my advice to you is this. If that FCS school is not looking at you, screw them. Like yeah. you're going to go to that division two school. I I've known plenty of dudes coming out of division two. And at the end of the day, it's about the total fit. It's about being at the right school for the next four years is a lot more important than 20 minutes of Twitter fame saying that you got a division one offer from the university of jerkville wherever it is i don't give a shit like i'm so sick i'm sorry at the end of the day are you a d1 caliber player yes is everybody that's come on this show a a a d1 caliber player yes at the end of the day i mean shit anybody that can beat dante smith on the mat right there is enough well, and that's what I was going to ask you, Jacob. Where, where's your head at with the recruitment right now? Um, you know, I'm just still trying to figure some stuff out, talking mm-hmm. to some schools. I'm, I wrestle too, so yep. I still have that into consideration. So, you know, I'm just – like he said, I'm just trying to figure out the best fit for me. Have you um, spoke to Iowa? Uh, no, I haven't. I'll tell you, no, I, I, I'm being serious. Like, I, I, how can Iowa not want this guy as a wrestler – and then walk them on as an offensive lineman. You th- you yeah. say to yourself, you think to yourself, like what's? But Cody said it best, man. There's it's supply and demand. There's so many play. We used to have a little over a million high school football players. Now they're saying it's over 1.3 million playing. Great. And the and the the amount of opportunities are going down. You got schools like Azusa Pacific canceling football. You know, so you, you're it's more players, less opportunities. But I watched your junior film. Um, yeah, you're you, you what you do on the mat, you put on the helmet and do so. So, Jacob, I mean, also, what I want to ask you if if a coach is, I asked this to an earlier player, if coaches on the fence about offering you, 
um, which they shouldn't be because your 6'3 is with no shoes, no socks. I saw the whole thing. <laughs> you yeah. were 6'3, 280. Um, coaches, uh, football staff's on the fence about offering you. What would your pitch to them be to say, hey, I'm a guy to take a chance with? Um, you know, I, I, I'm very for the coach. You know, I do whatever my coaches say. Um, what I, what, I'm not a, I played tackle this year. I'm not an offensive tackle, offensive obviously. And so, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever you want me to do for you. Um, and I, wherever you put me, I'm going to try give you my best and, you know, continue to dominate. That's what I love to do. A team player who's one of the best wrestlers in the state. College coaches love wrestlers, man. They do. I mean, you have the resume boxes checked. Um, what I need you to do, though, you got to put that senior tape. Cut yeah. that senior tape. Make it Especially three before minutes. this show airs in the next yeah. four hours. Finish that okay. senior tape, man. Three to four minutes. You, you already know what to do. Best plays up front. Absolute best play, number one. Um, and let's rock and roll. Let's have yeah, And fun. if you, Jacob, if you need, you can message Cody or, or I, when you get the film before you put it out there, Oh yeah, we'll, we'll, check we'll it. go over it and, and let you know what needs to be where and what, because I mean, right now, you, you know, you're not one of my guys over here at my recruits, but I'm running out of offensive linemen because all of my guys are committing and signing. So um, I don't have many six foot three, 280 pound guys just lingering around waiting to be signed. Well, so. And the other good thing is he's got a bunch of people going after him because Boulder Creek has one of the absolute best coaches who handle recruiting in Justin Simmons. One of our, uh, he, I don't like him no more. He, <laughs> oh, man, I don't like him no more. Cause you know why? And, uh -oh. and, and I used to like this guy a lot. I can't keep the laughing, but <laughs> I didn't say, what do you mean? all of a sudden he, be, it was like, you know, him and I were boys and, and, oh, you're, and you're then all of a sudden the now it's like, you're, you're He's called about, Cody's boy. Oh, you're mad so about Coach the hat. Simmons. Is the, the debate is out there right now. I thought we were like this. Now you're you're you got your Cody T. Cameron uh, tight little stretchy shirt on. It says <laughs> CTC. Oh man, hey, hey, marketing don't idea. Knock, don't knock the medium, but Jacob. Hey, He's I appreciate you having us on. Uh, having us on. I appreciate you coming on coming our show, on. man. And and get that film ready and let's rock. Sweet. Thank you for having me. Hey, hey no problem, guys, boss. real quick. At Jacob underscore more, M-O-O-R-E 55. At Jacob underscore more 55. Check his Twitter out. Um, you will not be sorry. He's got his Washburn offer pinned, but he's going to have his huddle film in the next 24 hours up there. Get that film. Get that yes, film. sir. Jacob, thanks for joining us, bud. Best of luck. Thank you. Well, there it is, Cody. Hey, I like this show, man. This show's fun. I mean, it's it's you know we get a chance to to fun. really talk about and help some young men because I get you know not only am I going to have the I'm going to put this uh, into an audio um, also and I'll send it out because it's easier for me to send out the audio version. So we'll get a couple hundred uh, viewers mm -hmm. on YouTube, but I also take this. Nicole puts it into an audio segment. It lets me send it out a lot easier to all of the college coaches. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we, there's some great talent left here that we need to try to, but I, I'm a big go where they want you guy. I mean, that's it. At the end of the day, that that's what I believe. Um, I respect a lot. I mean, don't be surprised. Uh, University of Sioux Falls makes a move on Jacob more late if they haven't already. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. And, and we keep saying like, there's no spots of it. Uh, I, I think, and you don't say that. I, I say like, hey, there's no spots. There's, there is a spot somewhere, you know, yeah. that's the thing. It's just, it's in this, it, like we always, and you preach this, I preach this, don't have the D1, D1 or bus mentality. You oh, can't, you can't. Recruiting cycle. You can't, um, there are spots somewhere. And like we said, this show is just for, maybe there's a college coach out there that watches this and go, hey, I want to take my chance on, on a Jacob Moore. I want to take my chance on a Shane Pitts. I want to yeah. see Roddy Clemente, oh crap, he, he outran the first four guys. <laughs> first yeah. Of the film, you know, so. The Georgia Mirrors of the world, they can be program impact game changers. And this is what this show is for, man. They really can. I'm all for it, coach. I'm all for uh, it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have this series every week now leading up to signing day. Yep. Okay. So, guys, expect we're going to have four players on yep. every, every week leading up to signing day. So, we should get three or four more shows. And then what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to swing from there, and then we're going to uh, – start the top 2022 uh, prospect show. 
party time. And, and then we're going to get into the top 2023 prospect show. And we're going to roll from there. Cody's girlfriend is in the car. I, I got to eat some food, man. Go waiting to, party, to go to queen. dinner. My yeah. wife is ready to roll. And <laughs> hey, as yeah. usual, it's Cody always fire, man. These shows Coach are fire. Over and out. See you guys. Thanks for joining.